a shot in the arm for our COVID recovery. Yeah, it was fine. Um, didn't hurt at all. Um, very straightforward process. But as the first Pfizer vaccines were administered in Darwin, the government was fighting a battle on the communication front. It's really important for Territorians to understand that the COVID-19 vaccine is safe, it is effective and it has been rigorously tested and approved by the TGA. There are serious concerns about anti-vaxxers spreading misinformation on Facebook, particularly in remote Indigenous communities. Facebook, particularly for Indigenous Territorians living in remote communities, those social media um, platforms do provide a great deal of information. Those fears were heightened after the Chief Minister posted this message on Facebook, urging people to get vaccinated, a seemingly sensible message attracting an angry response. Wrong on every level, Gunner. Some don't want this killer vaccine and we are not getting it. This message, one of hundreds attacking the vaccination rollout. Aboriginal health groups are also furious. The avalanche of misinformation coming just days after their official Facebook pages were shut down as part of the social media giant's ban on news. So we do need to see, um, particularly those Aboriginal medical organisations that are a source of truth, be able to provide their information into remote communities. Facebook told Sky News it removes false claims about vaccine safety, saying it had removed 12 million posts worldwide since the beginning of the pandemic. But the government says it can't keep up with the amount of misinformation being posted on its pages. I think we all have a social responsibility to call out mistruths when they're there, and that does extend to social media platforms. A sharp point, well delivered, at a time when it couldn't be more important. Matt Cunningham, Sky News, Darwin.